asociado a la fermentación. ¿Sí? ¿Foto? No. So I'm here in Bogota with my friend Diego. Say hello, Diego. Hello to everyone. And what are we doing today? Uh, we are going to train for WBC. Train for WBC. So that means uh, we're going to roast some uh, coffees and test some SL28 from Finca Tamala. It's going to be a great day. So we spent all morning uh, calibrating espresso. Diego was, like many other people, under extracting his espresso, so it was very sour. <laughs> but we fixed that, so now the extraction is around 20% and coffees are tasting sweet. So what's next? So next we are going to taste uh, milk. Milk? Yeah. Colombian milk. So uh, we we're preparing for the milk beverage that will be served during his double uh, WBC presentation. And afterwards, what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to taste our uh, signature drink. The signature beverage. So I'm looking forward to that. Not so much the milk drink, but uh, it'll be interesting. What coffee are you using for the milk drink? Um, we are tasting a, a Castillo Naranjal from Fin Catamana. This tastes uh, very sweet and clean. Yes. Very good, actually. And uh, for the espresso, we were using an SL28 from Finca Tamala. An early picking, so it was a little nutty. Not the best, but we have some other lots that are tasting really good, so hopefully they will taste better once we have roasted them. I'm we'll making them long. <laughs> so there you are happy with the milk drink? Uh, yes, we are. We uh, spent a couple of hours working on a milk drink and we finally found something that we both liked. We will not tell you what it is because uh, <laughs> it's a secret, but uh, it's tasting pretty good I think. So now we're gonna start working on the signature beverage, which is of course also a secret. Uh, Diego has been working on this for a while, so I'm really looking forward to tasting it. I'll make it on. So there you go, it's been a long day. How many hours? Oh, almost 12 hours. I started very early at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I was so proud about this day, but I mean, uh, I've been the best day for me because we go through every uh, step from the presentation and we got uh, so many ideas about uh, performing myself and all the process that we have been doing at Finca Tamana. Cool. And uh, some good coffees? Really good coffees we have. Some bad coffees? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first thing that you drink you served me was terrible. <laughs> I mean, everything for the first time is quite hard, but I mean, yeah. yes, we have a lot of to work on. Yes, for sure. So now we, the next step is to work a little bit on the roast for the espresso and also to balance the signature drink and also tie up the whole story and the presentation, which takes a lot of practice. So we will probably be practicing every day for the next two months. Yeah. There's two months waiting for me to practice uh, a lot and I mean we have a really good story to talk about, we have a really good coffee and we just need to practice and find the best way to present this project, this coffee and all the things that we have been doing since uh, 2011. Yeah, cool. And tomorrow we're going to uh, Quindío. Uh, tomorrow we are going to Chinchina Caldas, which is a Ceni Cafe. A research farm where we're going to learn a little bit more about coffee. Maybe we can use some of the information in the in your presentation. Yeah. Thanks for today. Ciao. Ciao. Good morning, Diego. Good morning. <laughs> we're in the airport having a cup of coffee because we're going to Armenia. How's the coffee? Uh, Can we taste it? <laughs> Mine definitely needs some sugar. <laughs> well, uh, today we'll be reporting from uh, Sene Cafe in Armenia. So now where we are, are we, Diego? Uh, we are in Cine Cafe, just visiting and see 
different species and varieties. Yeah, you? many different species and varieties. Some huge trees, Libericas, uh, Robustas, Arabicas, many different Arabicas. Very cool. But uh, unfortunately, we can't taste the coffins. <laughs> just, just watch them. <laughs> How did you like yesterday? <laughs> I mean, it was a long day, but full of uh, interesting things that we learned. Yeah, I was surprised we went to the instant coffee factory called Buendia. <laughs> One of the biggest uh, instant coffee factories in the world, owned by the FNC. And uh, it was really interesting to see the whole process of freeze drying the coffee. Uh, also, we learned a lot about varieties yeah. at Sene Cafe. Which was nice because uh, Diego is actually using one of the Sani Cafe varieties in his presentation. The Castillo from Naranjal, which tastes really good. And today what are we doing? Uh, we are going to do some roasting. Some roasting on the Loring? Yep. Because we need to work on your uh, espresso flavor. And I think we can adjust it with the roast a little bit. Just to get the acidity a little bit down. It's quite sour now. <laughs> <laughs> so we fixed the extraction but uh, the coffee is still kind of uneven to extract and uh, I think that's partly because it's uh, slightly underdeveloped in the roast so hopefully we'll get something to taste in uh, two weeks when we're getting back to Bogota to, to train and to taste the espressos. Let's do this! Hey Diego! What's going on? What are you doing now? Uh, just calibrating for uh, my routine. Calibrating for your routine. So we're gonna see your whole WBC routine to give you some feedback for the first time. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, I hope. <laughs> Guess what? Just found the coffee cherry on one of our Tipka trees. But I am going to pick it and see how it tastes like. <laughs> 